It is 6.37. Mark Davis from 6.60 a.m. The Answer joins us this morning and a whole lot of talk about Arkansas and Indiana and this whole religious freedom law. Some say oh, it's for religion. Others are saying that it, you know, is against gays and lesbians. I mean, I, you look at two different sides here and you have two different arguments. Well, you do, and uh, bottom line is, uh, one of the great American traditions is to live and let live, and it's funny because the left usually comes to those of us who are conservatives and says, you guys are trying to ram your views down our throats, and not in this case, we're not. We're trying to avoid uh, an acceptance of a, 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 an, a, an admittedly unscriptural event in the eyes of some onto a, a wedding service provider who has the religious freedom to decline such service. Uh, th this, this is incredibly easy to figure out, this is hysteria of the highest order in Arkansas and in Indiana. Public officials are buckling, not because they have lost their focus on what's right here, which is to allow these businesses their religious freedom, but because they fear the backlash from ideological hooligans. This really is simple. Does somebody have the right to be gay, the right to have a gay wedding? Absolutely, absolutely. Do wedding service providers have the right to respectfully, civilly say, no, nah, we're not going to do that? Yes, they do. There is, it would, let's not invent rights. There is no such thing as a right to expect that your gay wedding will absolutely meet approval with every wedding service provider. And the question, Period. right? So and the question right. is whether or not the government then should come in and, and be able to to impose sanctions on the business. Exactly We've all heard right. the story and about the, the grandma no. who bakes wedding cakes said right. to these two fellows, "No, I'm not going to do one for you guys," and the government sued no. her. And, and, if, and if we allow the government to, to have that kind of, uh, of, of authority over people, then the church, I mean, if, if indeed we're going to criminalize a cupcake maker saying no to a gay wedding, how in the world can we allow the church on the corner to say no? And that is what some people want, the ultimate demonization and criminalization of the scriptural view of marriage. Uh, I'd love to talk with you about uh, the, the training. I thought it was a brilliant idea by the Dallas uh, Police Patrolmen's Association inviting some reporters in uh, who, who may be a little too quick on the pen and say uh, and, and critical of, of police officers. Here's uh, Sean Rabb going through this training with the DPPA. Shoot, don't shoot. A split-second decision that officers have to make all the time. Absolutely, and I, this came right into our, our building because my producer, Rhonda Moreland, went through exactly the same thing. Might have been there the same day as Sean. And she came back and told us the story. She said, we talk about these things all the time. We all kind of conversationally understand how snap uh, the, 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 what those snap judgments may be like and how difficult it may be under the incredible pressure of a shoot, no shoot. If you should shoot and you don't, you could be dead if the shooting is not appropriate and you do you may kill a totally innocent person or wound them and ruin your life the stakes are unbelievably high it was a fantastic idea to let people who cover these stories in for this kind of training so they can have an appreciation of what people in uniform go through right. well, even just viewers i mean watching that it makes you think about it you know i mean if you put yourself oh in hearing her talk about it she hearing her talk about it i could feel my blood pressure go up i think i began to quiver thinking because you know the we were sitting and said i just blow everybody away Hi. Ha, 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 you know, but they're just semi-joking. You can't do that, but nor can you be so hesitant, you know, because of Ferguson and Staten Island. Oh, I, I can never go to my weapon because, you know, then you're going to be dead. So there's the balance, and God bless our police officers for having to make those kinds of judgments every day. No, not easy. Uh, and finally, a little disturbing to find out what the folks uh, in Germany knew about this airline pilot uh, before this tragedy of the, the, a man with depression flying an airplane into the side of a mountain. Uh, by the day, we're learning they knew more than they admitted at first. You, do you know what the horrible thing is here? From, from this to Nidal Hassan to, very, to, to Adam Lanza to James Holmes, the movie theater shooter, we as a society have got to free up our instincts. We're afraid to go, my God, that guy's acting weird. Or, oh my heavens, this guy shouldn't be flying a plane. Oh, why? Because it could cost his career. Well, it cost 149 other people their lives. It is a suicide case. It's also a mass murder case. And listen, I'd rather have a hundred cases where we say, God, is that pilot all right? Or boy, is that, uh, is that army psychiatrist a, a jihadist? And be wrong about it then keep our lips sealed, do nothing, and have a large, large death toll. And real quick to finish, this kid in the school who's writing those disturbing stories that Sol was just talking about, mm -hmm. he may not have committed a crime. I'm not looking to put him in jail, but that kid should be kicked out of school immediately. What kind of nonsense is going on there?
extra yeah. topic, no charge. You've obviously read the whole thing, which is just oh, good. so oh, disturbing. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's oh. unbelievable. It's yeah. abs now, oh, again, yeah. has he committed a crime? Is right. it an actual threat? It not, it's not necessarily. If I write a story about killing you guys, it doesn't mean I'm going to kill you guys. Right. But it sure means that I shouldn't be sitting in a seat at a middle school. This is crazy. Yeah, I've talked with a lot of parents in that school district, and I, I, I can understand their fear. If, you're, if your kid's That's name absolutely. is in that, mm -hmm. yeah, I, can, I totally get yeah. it. All right, you can listen to The Mark Davis Show every morning, 6.60 a.m., The Answer. Thank you, Mark. It is 6.60.